If you think golf forgives and forgets what happens, you're wrong. Patrick Reed knows it very well. He is one of the athletes who has been involved in the most problems in the world of golf. And now a new incident could tarnish his career forever. He has been acting dishonestly with his fellow golfers during a round to gain advantages. That's why some call him a serial cheater. Most of the time he has been accused of cheating, he has been able to prove his innocence by claiming technicalities, but his reputation as a cheater continues nonetheless. But we have to agree that no human being is born a cheater, right? Wrong! If you agree with this idea, in Patrick Reed's case, you may be wrong. Let's talk more about this, but Reed's track record is not good at all, such as when he was kicked off the college team, accused of theft and drunkenness, facts that stained the player's career. That's why you need to know that Patrick Reed is unfortunately not the person you imagined he would be. Let's get to know all the details during the video, so stay until the end to know all the dark details of the player's life. If you like this type of video, click on the subscribe button right below the video so you don't miss any news from the world of golf. Patrick Reed is already a well-known name in the world of golf due to the controversial situations he has been involved in. This happened during the old Ryder Cups where he made finger and silence gestures. Even involved in so many controversies, the victory during the 2018 Masters put him among the greats of world golf. Without a doubt, Reed is a great golfer, but unfortunately, his career has been marked by the constant problems he is involved in. And if you think this is recent, you're wrong. Patrick Reed has been involved in problems since his college days and continued as he advanced in the world of golf. What you will discover from now on is who Patrick Reed really is and how he allowed his career to be stained in this way. Reed was born on August 5, 1990 in San Antonio, Texas. He began to like golf after his father Bill and mother Jeanette gave him a set of plastic clubs. As the years went by, his interest in the sport only grew, so much so that he began traveling to McKinney, Texas to start practicing the sport more professionally. At 10 years old, he preferred running pants over shorts. He won his first championship during the time he was still attending school. It was in 2006 at University High School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where he became the champion of that year's Junior Open Championship. That year Patrick Reed was an amateur golfer and began leading University High in the state championships of 2006 and 2007. In addition, he was a state medalist in 2007. He received All-American honors from the Rolex AGA in 2005, 2006, and 2007. After a great performance for three consecutive years, he began attending the University of Georgia, where he officially began his career as a golf athlete. But unfortunately, Reed only played one year on the college team, after which he was fired for allegations of cheating and theft. The university's allegations are documented in Shane Ryan's book Slaying the Tiger, a year inside the ropes on the new PGA Tour. According to statements by Jason Payne, Reed's assistant coach at the time, some character issues arose that led to Patrick Reed's dismissal. He mentioned that during the recruitment process, when he was getting to know Reed, he felt that he could help him evolve into a great professional. However, after a few months, Payne and other members of the technical commission concluded that Patrick would not be a good fit for the team and therefore, he was let go. Although Reed was a great athlete, as Payne stated, he was not someone they wanted to have around. Reed, on the other hand, always denied any accusations, including in an interview with Golf Channel, claiming that he was fired because of alcohol-related issues. According to him, everyone knows that he was expelled from UGA because of drinking problems. In addition to being expelled from the University of Georgia, Patrick was arrested for underage drinking and also for possessing a fake ID. He was subsequently placed on probation and had to do community service. On another occasion, Reed's teammates accused him of stealing $400 and a golf club that had disappeared from the team locker room. His teammates suspected that he had taken the money and club, but Patrick denied the accusation. He also commented that he wishes that everything that is being said about him in Jason Payne's book would be removed. Reed stated that writing a book is great, but all facts should be correct. According to him, it is unfair to mention that he stole, cheated in college where he was suspended when none of the accusations are true. Patrick also says that if the book were reporting true facts, he would not argue, but they continued to assert that the reason for his suspension was theft and cheating. After being expelled, 
Patrick Reed transferred to Augusta State University, where he played golf and studied business. However, what happened at the University of Georgia was never forgotten. At his new university, he was accused of cheating several times after allegedly saving two strokes from the scorecard. After that, Reed's teammates demanded that he be removed from the team, but his coach only suspended him for two games as a form of punishment. Despite some incidents with his teammates, Patrick Reed led Augusta State in several competitions, especially in the 2010 and 2011 NCAA tournaments. It was precisely in 2011 that Reed became a professional golfer and participated in his first PGA Tour of the same year. In 2013, he became the 12th rookie to win the PGA Tour. However, the main event of his career was the WGC Cadillac Championship, which he won, making him one of the few golfers, including Tiger Woods, to win three PGA Tour events before the age of 24 since 1990. In 2019, Tiger Woods invited Patrick Reed to participate in the President's Cup, which competed with the international team led by Ernie Els in Melbourne. Golf analyst Randall Shambly commented that Tiger's attitude in inviting Reed was a deal with the devil. In the end, he was right because Reed was penalized after intentionally improving his position in a bunker in the third round of the Bahamas Hero World Challenge before the President's Cup. Patrick Reed was caught taking several strokes to make the sand smoother behind the ball twice. This was noticed because when he took the club back, he took some sand with it. Upon realizing this, Reed was asked to speak with officials about the matter after his round. Reed denied doing this and said that the problem was the angle of the TV cameras. He claimed that the camera position made the situation worse than it actually was. This gained significant attention and several sports journalists commented on the matter. Dan Hicks, a sports commentator, said that Patrick did it on purpose. Cam Smith made a strong statement about the matter, stating that Reed had cheated. According to his statements, he does not accept cheaters and warned that Reed could have problems with golf fans, and that was exactly what happened. Patrick Reed was the target of many complaints and insults from golf fans everywhere he went. Therefore, armed police had to accompany him on the course. The case was so serious that Kessler Corain, Patrick's caddy, attacked a fan. Brooks Kepka was tougher when commenting on the situation. He said that Patrick Reed was building sandcastles in the bunker to improve his position. If you play the game and follow the integrity that is in place, there is really no room for cheating, Kepka commented. You understand the rules and integrity is at stake, there is no room for it, he concluded. More recently, in 2021, Patrick Reed was the center of several controversies at the Farmers Insurance Open. He was again involved in a rules-related discussion when asking for relief for a ball that was already embedded. TV replays showed that the ball had bounced first and he picked it up right after, even before a rules official arrived on the scene. Patrick's claim to the rules official that the ball did not bounce could be heard, but he refused to look at the TV replays. Broke ground, commented Reed. Shortly after, a golf fan insulted Reed by shouting cheater on his eight-foot birdie putt that ended up going far from the last hole of the playoff that featured Justin Thomas and Xander Schofel at the Tournament of Champions. Reed did not hide his dissatisfaction and stared at the visibly upset fan. As if all these situations were not enough, last year Patrick Reed shocked golf lovers by announcing that he was leaving the PGA Tour and would compete in LIV golf. He claimed that he would like to participate in a smaller number of matches and spend more time with his family. That's why he would be moving to LIV and leaving the long competition format proposed by the PGA Tour. But in the first few tournaments of LIV, that was not what happened. He played for five consecutive weeks in September and golf fans did not forgive, saying that what he had said about leaving the PGA was different from what they were seeing. Several golf people called him a liar, making it clear that they were not at all happy with the player's attitude. Aaron Rice made the following statement, that's why Patrick Reed is a joke. In his next career, he'll be a politician. Later, Patrick Reed filed a lawsuit against Golf Channel and commentator Brandel Shambly for defamation. Reed said they joined the PGA Tour and N.J. Monahan to harm his reputation. But the case was eventually dismissed by the federal judge. Patrick Reed remains an excellent player, but do you honestly think he will be remembered in a good way in the future? Will he be able to overcome the cheater reputation he has carried since childhood? If you want to know everything that happens in the world of golf, click on the subscribe button below this video.